r slash ask reddit what movie do you absolutely love yet acknowledge is not a super well-made movie hackers hot garbage but god do i love it hack the planet i still have real affection for mortal Kombat, 1995 even though i admit half of the movie looks like deleted scenes from xena warrior princess Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1987 masterpiece Running Man. There's no finer example of late 80s dystopian cinema, no better example of Schwarzenegger making a film work when it had no business working, no film closer to the pure joy of the early 90s show American Gladiators. You can actually see the stunt props in the final film. It was as if Running Man was entirely shot and edited by a coke addled Paul Michael Glazer thinking he was still playing Starsky. My fellow Redditors, if you have not immersed yourself in the moving picture intellectual orgasm of Running Man, you have not truly lived. Waterworld, I know, there are huge plot holes and some major plot lines just don't make any sense at all, but it's still an entertaining movie and the parts that make any sense are very well done. Plus Costner. Twister because it's dumb, fun, and Dodge Ram. Demolition Man For whatever reason, one of my local TV stations used to air this movie every Easter Sunday, so whenever I see it I remember family get-togethers at my Nana's house. Plus, watching Wesley Snipes say cold as Hagen dazes Always makes me laugh. Oh man, do I love Congo. It's really not good. The script is hilariously terrible. There are a lot of great actors in it who seem to know what kind of movie they're in, and a few not so great actors who don't. We used to watch this with Anaconda for a When Animals Attack Drunk double feature in college. Roadhouse is objectively a ridiculous movie but I love it. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. The plot was so full of holes that it just stopped making sense. Once you leave that behind it's extremely entertaining and so awesomely bad. How Rose Lindsay overlooked all of the illegal shit happening I'll never know. Evolution, 2001. It's an impressive mix of contrived, slightly problematic, and ridiculous but somehow it just works for me. I think it's mainly because I think Orlando Jones is amazing in anything he's in. Sky High. The Underworld Movies. All of them. Pure, perfect early 2000s leather-covered trash. George of the Jungle. It's an iconic movie of my childhood but seems to have just fallen through the cracks for so many. It was stupid, silly, and even for what it was it was just a rather weak movie not an outright bad movie but not iconic as I view it. Then Brandan Fraser added his charm to it. Very few could have had such a transformative effect on a movie in my opinion. Edit, thanks for the awards. Robin Hood Prince of Thieves 13 Ghosts What an awesome concept, with actual lore. Overboard, with Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Edit You've no idea how happy it makes me to see this comment taking off. Thank you all. We are not alone. Edit. Epstein didn't kill himself. Limitless is far from a perfect movie. But I love the concept so much that I've watched it several times. Jumper. Van Helsing. Anaconda. John Voight's wink at the end. Classic. Edit, love the sequel too. Doesn't matter there aren't any anacondas in Borneo. Facts don't matter in these movies. Without a paddle. It's like a comedic stand by me. 13th Warrior. It's one of my absolute favorite movies of all time and has a special place in my heart, but it feels like it's not especially well made. Starship Troopers. The effects are gorgeous even now, but the acting is real real bad, even by good actors. Still love the movie.
actually turns out the bad acting was done on purpose so maybe not the best example. I knew it was satire but thought the acting and that were a separate thing. Dude, where's my car? Now and then. I know it's an oversimplified gender swap stand by me and the casting choices for the adult version of the characters were a bit questionable, but goddamn I love that movie. It came out when I was close in age to the kids at a time when adventure movies featuring girls weren't super common. And the young actors, and brief appearance of Brendan Fraser, were so good. I'm surprised the Chronicles of Riddick isn't on here yet. One of my guilty pleasures. EDA, while I'm so happy there's a ton of Chronicles fans, its ratings are by far the lowest of the trilogy hashtag reception. I stand by it has issues, and that I just don't care and will watch it almost any time I run across it, and I can rarely watch anything more than a couple of times. Good Burger Super Mario Brothers, it's like someone let Ridley Scott loose inside Nintendo HQ. In time. Cool idea OK movie. All the Resident Evils. I adore them. Even the overacting of Jill Valentine. Joe Dirt. The Replacements. Pain Heals, Chicks Dig Scars, Glory Lasts Forever. Anastasia, totally cheesy animation with weird 3D sometimes and the villain is really weird. That being said the romance between Dimitri and her can't be beat. Hot Rod. The Core. Let me make a correction it actually is a well-made movie, but the core concept, no pun intended, is absurd. The science is hilariously bad in this movie. But it takes itself just seriously enough for the premise to work. Not to mention it's got a killer cast. Deep Blue Sea. I always get flack for loving Wild Wild West. Practical Magic. Dirty Work. Dragon Heart. Corny as hell but will always hold a special place. I love the Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. No shame. The acting is bad. The story is worse. The CGI laughable. IDGAF. I love it. Demolition Man. I love the ridiculous future society they envision. Have a mellow day, citizen. Pacific Rim has the corniest scenario and writing but is still a personal favorite. SFX are on point, though. David Lynch's Dune. I often say it's my favorite movie, though it's competing against Apocalypse Now these days. Its plot is extremely confusing initially, and it's saddled with some cheesy acting and outdated special effects. At the same time, it's extremely surreal, eminently quotable, and has some fantastic design and cinematography. Until Villeneuve's movie came out, it was also pretty unique in terms of themes and setting. Anyone remember Mystery Men? Edit thanks for the upvotes y'all. Pokemon the first movie. It's pretty bad without the nostalgia goggles let's face it, but I love it all the same. Edit, typo. Oh highly recommend watching the Japanese sub, it's more morally grey. Also there's an entire starting sequence cut out of the English version where, spoilers, the scientist who created Mutuo's daughter died in a car accident and he wanted to clone her and made Mutuo so he could get funding. He gets so obsessed that his wife divorces him. Telepathically Mutuo befriends the clone of his daughter and three starter Pokemon. The experiment fails and the girl and three clones die while Mutuo just has to face it. Then they wipe his memory which contributes to his hostility when he wakes up. Also Mutuo is less about world domination and more about proving that him and the clones are just as valuable as the real thing. Mew's kind of a massive dick. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. I'm gonna say any of the Tremors movies after the second one. Starting with number 3, in my opinion they just got way too fake looking and it was just laughable. I still love em all, 
with the exception of The Legend Begins. Not a fan of that one. Queen of the Damned. Is it a shit movie? Absolutely. Does the music slap? Yes it's a guilty pleasure movie for me. I, Robot with Will Smith. Not super popular but I really love it. If you put yourself in the right mindset I feel that it captures the feel of a futuristic dystopia really well. Edit, I haven't read the book, which may be part of the reason I like it so much. Mars Attacks Jason X is easily my favorite Friday the 13th movie and it's so bad. Eurotrip, Slackers, Orgasmo, Basketball. Okay look. I saw Mamma Mia in the cinema, on a day of massive emotional relief in my life. The entire movie I was processing my own liberation from a massively toxic childhood. In addition I was like 15, I. E. My mind was particularly malleable, so that movie is the soundtrack to triumph. Who cares that Pierce Brosnan can't sing? So what if the story is ridiculous? It doesn't matter to me at all that the choreography seems to be tailored to the range of movement for 40-year-old moms. It's joy in movie form. Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. Fred Ward is miscast as Remo and Joel Grey plays Kyun, a Korean assassin teacher. The production troubles were legendary, and it flopped terribly. That being said, it was the greatest Pulp Fiction come to life movie ever made. Dodging bullets, running on sand without footprints, and battling for your life on the Statue of Liberty are not scenes to be missed. TMNT 3 Turtles in Time it is considered the worst movie of the three but I watched that one more than any other movie as a kid. I still watch it at least twice a year now. Cutthroat Island Judge Dredd, 1995 Final Fight in the Mummy 2 Mr. Brooks Kevin Costner as a serial killer with William Hurt as his alter ego. I don't think it did very well and people barely ever talked about it but I just love something about it. National Treasure Grandma's Boy Apparently I'm the only person on earth who loves Bicentennial Man. I can't even point out what people dislike about it. I should clarify I would still love this movie if it wasn't Robin Williams. I don't subscribe to Reddit's weird fetish for him. White Chicks. It is a terrible movie, but I just can't stop quoting it every time I get to watch it. Spice World about the Spice Girls. I watched it non-stop as a kid, and can still quote it today lol. Yes, it's not the best film ever, but the campiness is hilarious. Edit, for those who are trying to watch the movie again, I re-watched it recently on Archive. Org. Firestarter, the 1984 version. It feels more like a made-for-TV movie, but the finale is awesome, and George C. Scott is so creepy. I love 10 Things I Hate About You with all my heart. I've seen it at least 50 times and can quote it from memory. It sucks ass, but that won't stop me from watching it another 50 times. So many cliches, Plot points that are never resolved and a uh, um, this didn't age well seen and I still fucking love it. Center stage. Whatever you feel. Just dance it. I recently rewatched Hocus Pocus for the first time in 20 years. I used to watch it every year for Halloween when I was a kid, it was my favorite October movie. It's actually not good. Tank Girl. Twister. My all-time favorite movie. The effects still look pretty impressive today. I love it to death but I know it's not Oscar worthy. We got cows. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. WTF, but I love it. The chanting, the weirdness, the story tangents. Resident Evil movies. They are gory 
poorly acted fun from start to finish. Prometheus. My problems with the film aren't the ones people have with it. I feel there was a great story there that was not allowed to be fully fleshed due to some choices in the writing. The original scripts were so much more interesting in the backstory of the engineers and Vickers' desire to sabotage the trip. I love the movie Laddiehawk. The score by the Alan Parsons project is interesting but doesn't fit with the era of the movie. I like Matthew Broderick, but he was miscast here. His acting and wisecracking lines are a bit jarring. I still love this movie for the story and the two main leads, along with most of the other actors. Book with Robin Williams. Didn't realize it wasn't well received until I was an adult. Loved it as a kid. The score is one of my favorites by John Williams. For me it's got to be a knight's tale. It's cheesy, it's historically inaccurate, it has some questionable writing and performances, but man do I fucking love that movie. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.